I'm going to create a new file in After Effects simply by clicking on New Project, and I'm going to import the Photoshop file. I'll go to File, Import File, or Command-I, and I'll go out to my folder, and I'll select the file I want to place inside of After Effects. Now, with PSDs, with layers we want to utilize, we have to go down to the bottom to import as footage and change that to composition retain layer size. That will give us the layers that we created in Photoshop. And I'll just click OK. If we take a look at our project window now, we have two files. The one on the top is the one we're going to use. I'll double click on it and it'll line up all my clips in the composition that we created inside of Photoshop. So if we were to check the composition size by going to composition Composition settings, we'll see that the 854 by 480 has translated. While I'm in the composition settings, I'm going to make sure the frame rate is 30. And then for the time duration, I will put in one minute, even though the final clip will be six seconds. I'll click OK. Now we want each of these clips to be two and a half seconds long. Going to the left hand corner of the timeline, I'll click and select all the zeros. And then I'll put in 2, 1, 5 and hit return. And now I'll have the playback head where I would like to edit these clips. Now there's two ways to do that. I'm going to start by shift selecting all of them in the layer window. I'll select the top. Holding down the shift key, I'll select the bottom. You'll know you're at the end of your timeline because you're going to see the little blue boxes or glue, blue rectangles at either end, and that means I can roll my cursor over the edge of any of them, and I'll see a two-headed horizontal arrow. Holding the shift, I can snap them to the playback head. The other option would be to simply hold down the Option key and hit the close bracket up near the letter P. And now all my clips are the same length. I want to line them up with that stairway we kind of talked about in previous projects. The next thing I want to do is line them up with a one second intersection between each of the clips. We're going to make that descending stairway going from top to bottom and add that option. And I want to confirm that when I selected these clips, I started with the top and then shift selected the very last one so that it is from top to bottom. At the top of the user interface, I'm going to choose animation, keyframe assistant, and then I'm going to go to Sequence Layers. I'm going to choose Overlay, and I'll make this duration 100. And now if I was to zoom in on my timeline, I have the intersection of each of these clips. So where they intersect, we will put our transitions. 